So I wanted to just highlight a little thing about C++20 lambdas. In 14, we got generic lambdas, as you know, uh, which allows us to template the lambda, but we only get to say auto in the function signature, and we have to deal with the value categories in this weird way by decal type, and it was cumbersome. But in C++20, we got the ability to do what, what the paper calls familiar template syntax lambdas, and, and I haven't heard a really good uh, adopted name for this. Some people call them template lambdas, but you know, generic lambdas are already templates. Anyway, I'm going with what the paper says, which is familiar template syntax, um, which gives us this template head so we can name the types and get access to the deduced types much more easily. Okay, it's easier, so where would we use it? Well, consider something like std apply. I know this is a lot of code for this time in the morning, for those of you where it is the morning, but um, this is from cpreference.com. This is a sample implementation of std apply. We can see that the main body at the bottom, all it does is make the index sequence and then delegate to the helper function. Well, with uh, familiar template syntax lambdas, we can collapse these two functions and make an immediately invoked familiar template syntax lambda, or FTSIILE because we like these things in C++, we like long acronyms. And you can see the Lambda captures by reference, and inside the Lambda we just do all the same forwarding, but it's much more compact, much more, uh, you know, you need less code, you've got less identifiers you're exposing. So here's another example, which is uh, for each on tuples. If you just want a simple unary for each on tuples, you can get that using a regular invocation of std apply, uh, like this, with the with the familiar template syntax lambda having a uh, arg pack, and then forwarding the thing to each, forwarding each thing in the arg pack to the function. So this is for a unary function. But if you want a binary function over two tuples, or potentially an unary function over more tuples, you need to do a little bit more work. And uh, Jonathan Bakara had a blog post on this called STL algorithms on tuples on fluentcpp.com a while back. And you can see it uses the same kind of pattern as did apply. So the, the bottom function, again, is the function that the user calls. And all it does is forward the tuple, each, each tuple and the function, and then it does the make index sequence. And in this case, we're assuming that the two tuples are the same size. But we probably have a, a static assert in there, probably, that the tuple size of each tuple was the same. Uh, which I've left out of this slide code. Uh, but again, you can see it's the same pattern as apply. We're just, we're destructuring the type just to just to call this ancillary function, the, the impl function or the function inside a detail namespace or whatever, and that's what actually does the work. So we can do the same thing here. Um, make it a uh, immediately invoked lambda with the new template head. Uh, in this case, we are using non-type template uh, arg pack of size t's because that's what we get in the index sequence. And so we're just, rather than having two functions, one of which just exists to destructure the type, we can just stick the lambda in and get the familiar template syntax immediately invoked lambda expression. And again, the, the reference capture kind of means that we can, uh, it takes care of the, 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 forwarding for us, we just forward inside the, the lambda exactly the same as we would otherwise forward, and the, the reference capture takes care of uh, the value category preservation with that forwarding. So that's it. That's a highlight on familiar template syntax lambdas in C++20. If you find yourself delegating to a function just for the purpose of destructuring a type like this, particularly it happens with tuples, I find, although also with um, things like uh, boost MP list, boost MP11, MP list, type lists, um, then consider this pattern. Consider just sticking in the immediately invoked lambda with the familiar template syntax. Uh, it's a lot less visual noise. Uh, it's simpler argument handling. The reference capture kind of gives you, takes away all that forwarding that you have to do and leaves it just, just the one place. And um, like I say, it's especially useful for tuples. So I hope you don't hate the acronym, but <laughs> there you go. Thank you.